We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie and this is Ebers. And this is Rhett and this is Link. They're our mates off of Good Mythical Morning YouTube channel and whilst we were in LA, we took some kitchen gadgets along to their studio for them to review. Gentlemen, if you'd like to lift the cloche, this is gadget number one. I like the way you called it a cloche. Yeah. Oh my uh, goodness, so there's handles. Well, I, I mean, I, I've seen a smaller version of yeah, this. Yeah, so I've actually pretty badly cut my hand before on one of these for an apple. So it's gotta be for a watermelon, right? My hunch is it would also work nicely to portion up cheesecake. Boom, that many slices. <laughs> oh. like and, just, and a little a little <laughs> cylinder in the middle for daddy. That's, that's <laughs> chef's picks, right? That means you can serve every bit and still have some for yourself. Uh, you can't, you can't. Cut, you you can't. wouldn't go down on a watermelon with that or cut a watermelon. Well, that <laughs> and, and also you wouldn't, that middle part doesn't make any sense on a watermelon because there's no core. So maybe a pineapple? Because you, uh, that's a fat oh, But it's not gonna peel, it's not gonna peel a pineapple. What, it? This looks dangerous. <laughs> Guys, this is the watermelon slicer cutter. No! <laughs> Large stainless steel melon fruit vegetable cutter kitchen gadgets tools. You know I think why I cut a keywords. watermelon with yes, that? Yes, you can. A watermelon's just water, man. But you know, <laughs> whoa. I mean, there is a way to do this. Oh, so, there are instructions. You need to top and tail it. Okay. So I'm looking at you because yeah. you're a chef. Okay. I just want to just put it on the water. That's, so, that's exactly what I'd want to do. Yeah, so top tail right. middle. Top tail middle. I do like your idea of cakes and cheesecakes and. Okay, this is hard. You have good Five, melon hair. Three, this now. two. Oh, okay. oh, wow! And all of a sudden, now we know what that's about. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a munchable cylinder. So I guess you just kind of just. Well, yeah, you just kind of. Actually, that's quite if you, impressive. If you just pull, pull back on it, you got a nice slice yeah. there, see? This is way cooler than the, the way that I would end up mm. slicing it, you know? You bring this out and it's like, well, you're a professional slicer. Let me show you what I do for a watermelon, okay? I learned this on the internet. What? No, now you just scoop it out with a, with a spoon. Oh, with your yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throw some prices at me. How much do you think this sells for? Eight ninety nine dollars okay. um, I reckon it's twice the price of the watermelon. $15. I'm going to say $14.99. So the price is? $15.99. Hey, wow. You know your watermelon. Not only does he slice perfectly, but he has got Mr. Cashier yeah, mind. That's right. The question is, useless or not? Uh, I like my technique better, even though I wasn't able to come uh, full circle on it. Useless, the storage gets me, man. If you love watermelon, it's very useful, but who eats that much watermelon that regularly? No one. Right. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've done a lot of gadget videos, and compared to a lot of the gadgets, <laughs> It does what it says it does, therefore it's useful. That's <laughs> okay, it. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. It. The bar has been lowered. <laughs> the bar is lowered. And for you're, now. you're totally defeated by this exercise. <laughs> Welcome to Sorted Food. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> okay, guys, gadget number two. Ta da! Ooh, hello. Ooh, okay. Hello. All right. okay. <laughs> it's, got an on, it's got an on off switch here. Turn it on. Ebers. It's got a push. Turn it on. And it's got an on off. Put your tongue in it. <laughs> there are two things missing. Yeah, there are two remote. attachments missing. Oh. So uh, I didn't want to give it away straight away, but do you want to just speculate as to what could go in there? Well, it whatever it spins, it, sh it shakes like that. Like a, a razor for a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Shaved yeah. coconut. Are you talking about shaving coconut the outside shaving. of the coconut? It feels like a, a razor that you. Give us, give us. Oh, it's a, it's a peeler. What? what? It's a powered peeler. Why do you need a powered peeler? We're about to Why find out. I don't Guys. know about Link holding this, but you know what? Point your fingers. I have one of these. Oh. So that you can compare. Ooh. Yeah, oh. but you're not having it. It looks silky smooth. Part, right? It feels like I'm cutting through butter. I don't know. It might actually be fat. It's, you know what? It's actually the regular one is just. You just do it faster, right? I feel like if we had a donner here, if you had like a gyro at home, and you could shave your own meat onto your kebab. Oh. It, it makes no difference. I'm intrigued by the other attachment. Yeah, that's for Giuliani. It makes no difference. Does that feel good? No. Oh, it, it's failing. You think that you're enjoying uh, it, but oh. then just try a regular peeler and realize that yeah. it's basically the you same well, sensation. I've been peeling with oh, yeah. a regular. <laughs> <laughs> you like, oh, yeah. appreciate how a normal peeler is. Uh, I'm intrigued by the Julienne. What is this going to give us? It's like cucumber ribbons, but it's really not that good. It's completely worthless. How much did this cost? Well, I want you to guess and tell me. 
credit where credit's due, it's shot. Oh, come on. It just Don't doesn't need this it. bit. Stop it. <laughs> this is the Power Giant oh, Electric right. Peeler no. Handheld Julienne. Three in one kitchen tool. I don't know what the third thing is because it only came with we'll two tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> this is patented. No one is allowed to copy this technology. I mean, <laughs> great. I think it's. I safe. think that was wasted money. <laughs> Do you want to hazard a guess in price? Twenty-eight dollars. So I'm going to say nineteen ninety-nine. Ebers. Uh, I'm going to go in at a very simple eighteen dollars. James. Twenty-two forty-nine. Rhett, you are exceptional at this game. It's nineteen dollars ninety nine. <laughs> wow! Bang on! I miss my calling. I wouldn't say he's exceptional. He just got lucky twice. <laughs> Useless. Final one. Three's a dream. Whoa! Oh, we shit. got packets, guys. I have a feeling. Is this to follow the last one? It Mine. says wine on it. Is it a rubber? Why have we got wine flavored condoms? I feel like if you uh, if you have this is this is not. You're gonna meet my needs. If you're having a glass of wine and you get one of these and you have to open it and you're like fiddling with it and then you're getting it out, it's really gonna ruin the mood. This is an alternative way to take the cork out of a freaking... No, I think it's once you've had a glass but you don't want the remainder of the bottle, you seal it in. You protect. It is protection. It is protection for your wine no. for another night. But you gotta keep your finger in the bottle. Well, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> so you think it's a sealant. Not like a help opener. Oh gosh. I thought it was a toddler condom, but... I, uh, I don't know what that demonstrates. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what I you just, just want, did I, and why. No. These are in fact wine condoms. That doesn't explain anything. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> Nobody knows. <clears throat> there is a bottle of wine. Right. You know, it's early morning. Um, there's no pressure, but if you'd like to have a sip and then cover yeah, the yeah. bottle end with the wine condom to preserve your wine. Also, conversation at a dinner party. Mm. Yeah, you break forget, this out at the end of a nice dinner, table. you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> it's time to put a condom on the wine. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't roll it down. It's not necessary anymore. I mean, it's it works. <laughs> Could you go to the extreme if you were on a picnic or oh, something God. like that, and you h halfway, you, then you put it back in your rucksack and head back? Yeah. Okay, guys, I actually think that this is like legitimately <clears throat> useful. These are like super easy, convenient. You just mix them in with your other prophylactics. And yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, exactly. You go on a picnic and you want to, you don't finish the bottle. Pretty good. And if you're really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> My only concern, and it might say more about me, is I've never needed to wrap up a bottle. When do you ever okay. have some left in the bottle? Yeah, uh, okay, good point. <laughs> just, just finish the bottle. So are you are you looking for the price of one or the pack no, this of is a This is a set of six. Four ninety nine. Pack of six is uh, seventeen ninety nine. Whoa, good gosh. Eight ninety nine. One 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 dollar fifty a pop. Twelve. $13.97. So you were bang on again? Yeah, well, pretty close. Dollar out. Pretty close. Yeah. You were good. Wow. That's all right. You're, you're pretty good. Expensive. Oh, that's oh, risque. That is... <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> I, I prefer like a, a an ornate corker, a simple plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it has a use. I think it's quite useful. I I would prefer to use a plug as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there okay. we go. Well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I'm sure you've been as enlightened as we all have. And uh... now let's take the condom off and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, back to the fridge. Massive thanks to Rhett and Link for putting up with our silly ways. They are like the YouTube OGs and we insist that you go over there and give them some love. Go and subscribe. What does OG stand for, Ben? Um, <laughs> oracles of Greatness. Close enough. Big news. Our latest book, Hero Veg, is now on general sale, which means everyone can and should buy it. The link is down below. We are already working on the next book, and if you want to get that early doors, then you need to be part of the club. You can sign up in the link down below, and with that, you'll get all the extra stuff, the podcasts, the access to all the offers and perks and recommendations for restaurants at Sorted Eats, plus all the cookbooks we've ever done online and more coming to you every week. Oh, 
That's how much they get. It puts me out of breath. Oh, all right, Pluggy McPlugger. See, shall we do a dad joke? Please. I think you're going to like this week's one. I made an abacus out of polo mints and a piece of string. Hang on, give me a moment. And? It's really helped my mental arithmetic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. Useless or not? I think we demonstrated that. Unless you want to, you know, go into another room by yourself, this is useless. <laughs>